Hi my beautiful Leos, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing fantastic. Lisa here getting ready to do uh, your love reading. We're gonna see who is coming towards you right now. We're gonna see what the energy is here for you. So with that, let's get started. Happy birthday, we're almost uh, finished here with Leo season, but still let me know when your birthday is. Also, what you're trying to manifest in love. Be positive, be specific, so that it comes to you. So with that, wow. Nice uh, card there. I'm going to pull the bottom of the deck. I'm going to pull a couple uh, cards here from this deck as well. See what comes through. Okay, huh. pull the bottom of the deck. Okay, your first card is true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. You have attraction, okay? Somebody is very attracted to you, but it's also about being in the present moment, stop and smelling the roses, okay? That's the best way to manifest. All right, so I feel like right now you may be very focused in the present, which is actually drawing people to you, making you really attractive. Also I have here, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership, okay? I feel like there is somebody here, okay? Some of you, this is gonna be somebody that you work with. Some of you, this is telling me that there is somebody who is going to make the effort here in this connection, all right? Because the first card you have here is work. This could tell me this could be somebody who, you know, like I said, could you could work with this person, you could go to college with this person, or there could be something about this person's profession where the two of you, where it's kind of related, all right? Now, I am getting a past love in the past, a past lover, okay? So I do feel like this is somebody you could know, but we'll see what the tarot says, right? Because sometimes multiple people show up. So this could tell me, um, this could be about a past love, but I'm also gonna say here, this could be somebody that you've already met. You've already met this person through work, you know, school, or through your profession or their profession. Take it how it resonates, because not everybody is it going to be a past love. You also have here gifts. Wow, this, this tells me there's some sort of surprise coming, Leo. I mean, it could be also an actual gift. You could get a gift from someone. It can also tell me that something is about to happen and open up between the two of you. So let's pull some tarot. Let's see what else comes through here for you. Thank you, Spirit. What can you share with Leo about who is coming towards Leo? Please show Leo what they need to know about this person coming towards them. Wow. This is somebody who has definitely been thinking about you, okay? King of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. I really get a strong energy. This person is thinking like, you are worth it, Leo, all right? Some of you, you may have some time invested, but that was the message that came out, is that this person has been thinking about you and reflecting like you are worth it. Like I said, this could be somebody that you work with. Bottom of the deck here, you also have here the King of Wands. Look at that king of wands the page of pentacles and you also have the lovers some of you it could be an earth sign capricorn taurus virgo i'm also picking up uh aries leo sagittarius but i feel like there is some sort of upcoming message or this person is going to take the step towards you let's keep going what else can you share with leo about this we're going to clarify what's needed as well what else does leo need to know about this Hmm. Bottom of the deck here, again, we have the Lovers, Gemini energy. All right. You also have here the Five of Wands and you have the Knight of Pentacles. So something right now I feel, okay, something may be blocking this or there may potentially be some sort of challenge, all right, because I feel like things are not moving very 
quickly at the moment uh, as far as this person coming towards you. Let's keep going. We're going to clarify that five of wands. What else can you share uh, with Leo? What else does Leo need to know about this? Okay, we do have a three of swords and the nine of pentacles. Okay, nine of swords. This person is worried. Now, I get a couple messages. Now, there could this could tell me that there was some sort of heartbreak between the two of you. You may be single, Leo, but I definitely get, see there's that attraction card. The Nine of Pentacles also shows me this person is very attracted to you. The other energy that I get here is that this person is afraid of getting hurt. Okay, see, there's some sort of worry this person is thinking a lot about you. Like I said, they're in reflection. I do feel like this person sees that you are worth it. Some of you, this person feels like, you know, they've invested time with you but others if you're resonating that this is a new person i feel like a person could be afraid of getting hurt they may even feel like maybe there is some sort of competition but let's keep going let's get a couple more cards got the magician and the king of wands we saw that king of wands earlier it's also your energy so i feel like this person is definitely manifest trying to manifest you in their life you can also tell me that this person is about to take some sort of action to change things the knight of pentacles also for me can talk about courting and dating you have uh, the four of pentacles on the bottom of the deck and look the tower see this is where i feel like there is some sort of surprise upcoming here you know it's kind of that energy you don't see it coming you've got the nine of cups and you also have here the queen of swords okay and bottom of the deck here look at that three of cups and the hierophant I feel like this person is preparing to come towards you, wanting to communicate, but I also get this energy that you got the queen of swords here. Okay, now if you resonate that this is somebody where there was some sort of conflict or hurt involved in this situation, they may feel like your guard is up right now. We're gonna do some clarifying, but see, this is the unexpected upcoming. I'm feeling here what you don't see coming this person somebody who has been holding back the nine of cups right that's the wish here trying to manifest you back into their life or to manifest you in their life okay so let's do some clarifying get some more details around this tell me more about this three of swords tell me more about this three of swords okay yeah see distance See, this person I feel has been distant. Um, this also talks about the long haul. It's also an out of touch. So like I said, I feel like this person has not been making a whole lot uh, of effort at the moment because this person, it, there's some distance here, okay? You do have divine match. This is soulmate energy. We kind of talked about, oh no, we didn't talk about soulmate energy. It says following your destiny and a love that's meant to be. Okay, so I feel like this person feels a very strong connection with you. Um, it says taking time to appreciate the good things. I feel like just in general with the celebration, this person has been taking time to approach you, to connect with you. That's also this three of cups energy, communicate with you. So either there was some hurt involved between the two of you, or I'm going to say uh, for some of you, it just could be this person is afraid of being hurt but look at your next card is you have fluttering heart okay this is somebody who sees a future with you and somebody who gets butterflies okay they get butterflies when they're around you let's go up to this five of wands tell me more about this five of wands i'm going to see what they're reflecting about too you got love stories wow communicating and saying what needs to be said so I feel like no matter what your situation is, that's the struggle here, is that this person, there's something they wanna say or communicate to you. Now it may be like, I wanna take things to the next level, I wanna date you. Others, especially too, if this is a work uh, situation. Others, like I said, there is some 
hurt involved here and this person may be struggling like to communicate to you and like i said it could be that this queen of swords they may see you as very protective or you have your guard up okay the king of wands for me too not only about taking action but this person's thinking okay bottom of the deck here you have the winding road some of you are dealing with a complicated situation where the two of you were separated for some sort of reason okay others it just may be like right this person's just moving very very slow okay to come towards you let's see what they're reflecting about why is the seven of pentacles here why is the seven of pentacles here you got the power balance so it talks about mutual respect and responsibility okay equality respect and care so this person does respect respect you that's what they're thinking about this person definitely has on some level has some feelings for you <laughs> and look at that they also have some hidden desires as well okay so this is somebody who I'm just gonna say I'm gonna say too for some of you this could be somebody who is a temptation for you if this is you know a past person but this person is definitely thinking about you it's a fantasy energy okay but this person wants to ref to respect you even though they have these desires of, you know that they're thinking about you all right so let's see what action is here from this king of wands i feel like this is really about this person taking action trying to manifest you in their life why is the king of wands here okay see i said they were thinking they're contemplating you got soul searching here okay yeah so this person is really thinking about you i do feel like too there could be some personal issues that this person could be dealing with in their life as well that can talk about this this can also talk about intentions so this person is really thinking about what they want with you their intentions how are we going to go forward you also have here fan the flames okay so this is definitely how am i going to come towards you start this romance some of you it's a renewal okay renewal of love if it does resonate with the past person see this whole reading i feel is this is somebody getting ready to take some sort of action and make the effort okay i'm gonna um i feel like you're gonna hear from this person let's see why this knight of pentacles is here it can also be a message um, but i feel like this is someone like wanting to change the dynamic of this connection. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles. And then we're going to see what the challenge is and the potential outcome. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Okay, you got loyalty. Oh, wow. Another true love card. True love and devotion. See, this person wants to change things. They want to show you that they are devoted to you and that they'll be by your side through thick and thin. Huh, they're infatuated with you. This is also a card of passion. And then you also have here stability. Finding your balance. Okay, this is a calm, slow, and steady energy. And that's what I was saying. I feel like this person is not rushing, coming towards you. You do have the first uh, blush card. Yeah, see, for me, this is also communication here. Okay, it's like Page of Cups energy soft whispers of affection make love bloom so this person's going to take a step towards you i do feel like they're coming towards you slow and steady uh and they're going to try they're going to be a little bit flirty some of you maybe this person is already flirting with you if you, it resonates with the work situation um some of you it's a renewal of love uh where there may be forgiveness this is mending souls as well okay first blush can also be an apology it's different for everybody but let's see what the potential challenge is here in the situation so let's uh get a potential challenge here in the situation there's always challenges um but let's see what's the challenge here in the situation between leo and this person coming towards leo Oh, look at that. The Queen of Wands showed up. Okay. Hmm. Four cups here. Okay. I feel like the challenge here, Leo, is that 
for some reason you may feel there's limited potential and if my card is chewed up my dog got the card it fell on the floor and she took it and I didn't see it and oh wow she started chewing on it <laughs> all right so I do see some of you may feel unsure about this person. Okay, there could be a lot of reasons. It could be you work with this person. Some of you could be, you know, you've been with this person in the past. But I see hesitation, okay? Um, that's, the, you know, the challenge I see here. You also have the Queen of Wands. I feel like this is your energy, okay? Your energy is very attractive. This could also tell me that potentially there could be other people around you, right? Remember I said the attraction card. Um, I feel like you're just really living in the moment right now. Maybe you are doing something in your life that you feel very passionate about. So maybe your your whole center is not on love right now. Okay, so you may, may have other things, other offers going on here. You have the Knight of Swords here as well. And you also have here the Magician. Okay, the challenge here is um, I definitely get here like something about things moving fast okay um some of you it may be the challenge of you being unsure or limited potential because some of you may see this person maybe they move too slow for you or they did in the past you have the magician here as well okay i feel like some of you the challenge may be here uh, your uncertainty of whether this person is going to stick around or not okay so let's get the uh, potential outcome here of the situation. What's the potential outcome of the situation between Leo and this person? Okay, well, I definitely got there is a new chapter. It's going to take time and patience, strongly showing me here. It could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, you do have the Nine of Wands and you have the Page of Swords. Okay, you know, I almost feel like some of you, like I said, this could be a renewal of love. But for others, I feel like this could be somebody who, um, this could be a situation where you're kind of being strategic about this. Like you don't want to waste a lot of your time and energy on this connection. So others, I feel here, you know, we got the Seven of Cups and you have the Ten of Wands. This is going to apply for people of the past. You may feel like there are a lot of burdens with this connection, um, but at the same token, you may feel like this person is definitely a temptation for you. And you also have here the Seven of Coin and the High Priestess. Okay. I feel like the potential outcome here is there's there's a new there's a new chapter here. Okay, you can pursue this connection if you want to pursue this connection. I do see this person making the effort. Uh, they may move a little slower than you do, but I also see here this is really about you deciding whether you want to invest in this connection. What is your intuition telling you here? Okay, some of you, this is somebody from your past where there are potentially here burdens. So potentially, I feel there's an opportunity for you and this person to open up a chapter together. Not really showing me much more than that so let's close it out here with uh, some lover oracles oh boy okay sorry my dog started barking must be somebody at the door let's see here okay let's see what you have here Hmm, look at that secret admirer someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on you have playfulness laughter is the best therapy have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer i feel like it's kind of like don't take this too seriously right now i mean just live in the moment that's that attraction card stop and smell the roses just live in the moment don't think of too much about the past or the present. You also have here, deep in your heart, you already know the answer and do what feels right. See, and that's that high priestess energy. It's like making it, it's definitely making a decision based on your intuition. What is your heart 
and your head telling you. Okay, so uh, Leo, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.